Understanding Salvation from Sin, a Guide for English Learners. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into an important and deeply meaningful phrase in the English language, salvation from sin. This expression is rich in cultural, religious, and emotional significance. Whether you're learning English for personal growth, academic purposes, or to understand cultural nuances better, grasping the depth of such phrases is crucial. So, let's explore together what salvation from sin really means. Salvation refers to the act of being saved or protected from harm. In a broader sense, it often implies being saved from the consequences of sin. Sin, on the other hand, is a term used to describe an act that is considered wrong or immoral according to moral or religious beliefs. Therefore, salvation from sin implies being saved or redeemed from the consequences or effects of these wrongdoings. This phrase is deeply rooted in religious contexts, particularly within Christianity. It denotes the idea of being saved by divine grace or intervention from the spiritual consequences of sin, which is often eternal separation from God. The concept of salvation from sin can also be found in other religious traditions, where it might have slightly different interpretations but generally revolves around redemption, forgiveness, and the path to a morally upright life. While salvation from sin is primarily a religious term, it's also used metaphorically in everyday language to describe being saved or rescued from serious problems or dangerous situations. For example, overcoming addiction, escaping a life-threatening situation, or finding a way out of severe financial trouble can be described as a form of salvation. Understanding phrases like salvation from sin is crucial for English learners because it opens up a deeper insight into English-speaking cultures, literature, and philosophical discussions. It also helps in understanding context, connotation, and the emotional weight of words, which is essential for fluency and cultural literacy. We hope this exploration of salvation from sin has been enlightening and adds a rich layer to your understanding of the English language. Remember, language is not just about grammar and vocabulary but also about understanding the deeper meanings and cultural nuances of phrases like these. Thank you for joining us, and happy learning!